Hello there, yep, yep. people of... Oh, I have to turn this down. Hang on. We are playing some Homefront, and you guys are on the YouTubes, searching up the videos, and you've come to this one, and we're about to blow some shit up and kill some people inside of White Castle, and it looks like Hooters in the background, because this map is sexy. I've only played on it once. This is the very first time I ever played on it, and I'm playing with a group of guys, including, I think, everything we've got. C-Manners, Joostra, Captain Sparkles... And more lovely people that I can't think of right now. But we had a crew going. And I think Jericho's in this game as well. And uh, I think Larry Legend. And maybe maybe Tryhard. I can't remember. But uh, we were having a good time. We were finally getting into some games. This is actually... Ooh, look at Jan Sport. Anybody want to buy a backpack? There you go. Um, we were finally getting into some games. And um, so we were trying to take advantage of it. We were trying to... And see that thing? Do you see that thing that I'm shooting at right now? I'm gonna tell you guys something about that little devil. That get turned on, just get turned on, Stark Punisher. What you doing, baby? Um, that is called a parrot, and what that is is basically uh, Homefront's version of. I just got shit on right there. Homefront's version of a blackbird, but it is controllable. So what you do is uh, it's a very low uh, kill streak in a sense, and I don't know. I don't know if you can necessarily call it a kill streak. I would call it a point streak. It's basically. Um, something that you can earn based on the amount of points that you have. So, uh, you c it's actually uh, very, very cheap. And what it, It's a drone. It doesn't take a lot to destroy it. But if you can maneuver it around and, and um, you know, target the enemies for your team, it can really be a game changer. And so when you target someone, they show up for your teammates. It's a lot like spotting in, uh, in Battlefield, Bad Company 2. It's a lot like uh, spotting with a sniper. They show up on the map for your team, and it even highlights them as like a red triangle, and you can see them through walls and things such as that, which is very, very cool. Um, so this game, I was, it looks like I'm using the RPG and the personal UAV sweep. Um, the personal UAV sweep is exactly what it's called. It's just a mini UAV just for you. Nobody else on your team can see it. But uh, it's definitely useful. Uh, it's one of the better kill streaks or point streaks th that I use. I try to use it as much as possible, and it's very cheap, so uh, you can definitely use a ton of them during the game. I found myself I found myself using white phosphorus, which is basically oh this motherfucker in the truck. So I decided to take I bought use some of my points and uh, look at this I directly hit that mother effer in the back. This guy is doesn't know what he's doing, and I turn on him, trying to run away because. Scared. I'm scared for my life. But um, white phosphorus is the best kill streak. I swear to God. Um, it is like a giant napalm strike that has a circular radius, not a not a line like Call of Duty. But um, it is very very cool. It's uh, it's deadly. I've gotten plenty of triple kills and quads with it, and it just does work. It's it's a it's amazing. So uh, another thing I've been noticing is the customization. I, I've been uh, I've been using a certain sw set. Of weapons, uh, for my first set, I've been using an ACR with a with a red dot sight. I find the holographic a little odd to use. I prefer red dot, so I've been using the red dot sight. I've been using the mini UAV, and as I said before, the white phosphorus. So those are my two like kill streaks. And the perks, how the perks work is, you can actually have um, you can have anywhere from one to I think four or five perks at once. Actually, I think it's it might be six perks. Um, it really, and as you level up, you're allowed to, um, you're allowed to acquire more perks. And, uh, each perk has a number value. And you, basically, you have a set number, like five, four points. And, um, uh, it depends on what type of perk, but one perk might be one point, and another perk might be three points. Um, so you can only use up to four points. So if you have four points, and you use, you know, you select a one-point perk, and then a three-point perk, there you go, you can only have two perks. But if you select two one-point perks, and then a two-point perk, you can have three perks. You see kind of how the setup is, um, which is very cool. It adds for a great dimension, a lot of difference uh, when it comes to classes and things such as that. Uh, another class that everyone needs to use is the SCAR, or at least the SCAR uh, assault rifle. I think it's an assault rifle. It is a, it's a burst gun. It's a burst fire weapon. I've, I haven't used the M16 in this game. I don't know if it's fully auto or not. If someone can let me know in the comment section down below, uh, be sure to do that. But um, I found the SCAR to be one of the best long-distance weapons. Uh, I've tried sniping a little bit in this game, and I can say that I thought for sure the bolt-action sniper would be a one-shot kill to the body. It is not. It is still a two-shot kill. So that kind of makes me think that the bolt-action is kind of useless. 
um, because I was getting, I was doing a lot better with the semi-automatic, um, you know, uh, sh sniper, and this this is that sniper. I'm picking it up. Uh, the other sniper, the bolt action, has a far uh, far larger range. The scope zooms in a lot more, so you can see way longer distances. But uh, for close range sniping, especially for sniping that I enjoy, uh, this is going to be the sniper that I'm going to be using. Um, I'm not sure if sniping is really going to be that important in this game. A lot of people, maybe with this one, I've seen some people get some really good scores sniping with that gun. Uh, but for me, I will stick to an assault rifle. I will stick with a SCAR. And I know that's weird hearing that for me, considering I am such a sniper in, in most games. But um, I don't know what it is. First person shooters is maybe just not my sniping. But when it comes to Gears of War, it's my baby. It's it's my bread and butter. But uh, with this, ah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stick with my assault rifles and uh, just do work that way. So yeah, that's about it. But uh, I actually want to talk about a few things really quick. Uh, first thing being uh, my new website that I just came out with. Uh, it's actually kind of tied. It's it's basically a blog. It's not necessarily its own website. And look at that. Look at me using the uh, the map to my advantage, doing a little bit of parkour and jumping around like a damn monkey um, <laughs> and actually I, right here I was screaming I was like I'm in such a good spot no one will ever kill me and I was just so excited about being up here I was like this is the best spot ever no one will oh shit and I died and it was it was hilarious everyone was laughing at me so yeah but um what was I getting at yeah if you guys want to check out this website it is basically my blog I will be posting uh, you know oh look at me hopping into this tank it will be me posting pretty much anything I feel like posting, and you guys can keep up with that. It's just uh, it's just more content from me. Um, so yeah, if you want to check that out, the link will be down below in the description, and you can you can bookmark it and do whatever you want to do with it. I, I basically talk about video games, my experiences. Maybe I, I even put a post up about packs and kind of how I felt about the experience. And another thing is, um, look at this guy. He, he obviously doesn't know how to drive. Let me destroy you really fast get that double kill um, <laughs> and Jericho poor Jericho spawns on there and we just get destroyed by hellfire but um, what was I gonna say I don't remember something about my blog and packs and it being good and fun and everyone needs to go to packs everyone and I don't know how to lock on to things so right here I'm, I'm being kind of a nub I don't think you can lock on to anything with an RPG but uh, that's actually another thing I want to talk about really fast concerning this game uh, I was playing and we got stuck in a game where the other team would save all their points until they could, excuse me, until they could unlock um, aircrafts or uh, the, you know, the helicopters that fly around and just fuck shit up. They don't ever go away. They're unlimited, which baffles me. I, I don't understand that. And uh, we could not find a way to shoot these things down. The RPGs are very inaccurate. Um, I could not figure out, I mean, I'm guessing you need the... Uh, I think it's the Tiger Drone, is that what it's called? I think. And it's the, it's kind of a tank destroyer, it locks on aircrafts, I think, but I'm not sure, I couldn't really get it to work. And we found ourselves just being spawn killed over and over and over and over by these aircrafts. And, um, I don't know if we're just dumb and we don't really understand the counter for it, or if there is no counter for it. So if someone can leave me a comment and let me know, I would greatly appreciate it. It will step up my game, because I've found myself just getting destroyed by, um by people who or save up for these helicopters and then just sit up there the whole game and I know if you find them on the map you're you know you take them out of their kill streak or their vehicle or vehicle or whatever maybe or I think you do or do they go up in the vehicle see I don't know these things I need to know but uh, that is that is why time uh, you know that's why games take time that's why getting to know a brand new series or a game takes time because you need to learn things about it and um, I have every intention of doing so. So right here, look at that. It's a two-shot kill to the body, which is amazing. That sniper is very, very powerful. Uh, like I said, I really don't know why they put a bolt action in there if it is not a one-shot kill. I have found myself shooting people in the body, uh, shoulder, even even like in the shoulders and the neck, and I still do not get kills. Maybe I'm just bad. I really don't know. But if someone can let me know, again, do so. Leave me comments right there right right the video I was gonna say like I was gonna say rate instead I said right anyway um, yes like the video rate the video whatever you want to do it's actually the same thing but I would greatly appreciate it and if you leave me comments that makes me even happier because I'm a comment whore I love reading your guys's comments and believe it or not I read 
probably 85 or excuse me 95 percent of all your comments so uh yeah this game is pretty much over but me and the uh me and the nana man uh beasted on some newbies and uh, we did some work and we well for me personally i am enjoying this game i've been having a lot of fun the uh 16 party uh thing is amazing i love it i love being able to go in there with 16 people because that's nuts and i've been waiting for a game that has high scale you know battles like such as this um, when the servers are going when the servers are completely fixed i feel like this game is going to be in my xbox quite often and uh yeah i'm very excited about the videos that may come out of the, because of this game a uh, last question before we wrap things up should i buy a ps3 or should i not uh, the reason I would want a PS3 is for exclusive games only, because, well, because exclusive exclu ugh, exclusive games on the PS3 are amazing, and it sounded like I was being choked by, like, a smurf right there. I was like, look at he falls over like a domino. Anyway, <laughs> uh, that is it, guys. We win 90, 90 kills to 72 kills in a, in a victory. So, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we will talk to you guys later. Take it easy.